Good morning. Pop. <laughs> Who's popping today? It's, Pop. it's Vincent Wong from HKSOW. And Andrew Work, editor in chief, Harbor Times. Yes. All right. Pop. Why are we popping? Pop is for ah. progress on population, population. Yeah, policy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so, the, the is, so the political Mary Poppins. Yeah. Is she going to the legislative council yes, to, she is. to talk she's to the councillors? Fly in an umbrella. To talk to the penguins? Fly in her not yellow umbrella. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Well, we're talking about Carrie Lam in case you didn't know who, who I'm talking about. Yeah, so they. The Mary Poppins of population policy. Population policy, progress update. Uh, coming today, expected to hear that Hong Kong is getting older faster, which we already knew. Pop! Yeah, so of course that has big implications uh, for our workforce, which is supposed to start declining in 2017, mm -hmm. and is going to be a problem. A solution, uh, one of the ones that I've put forward is increased immigration from non-mainland Chinese sources. <laughs> because people get really, you know, we have plenty of immigration you know from the mainland, which is great. Yeah, but who wants to come? Uh, if, there's still if it is outside from mainland China. <laughs> what? There are lots of people that would love to come to Hong Kong. How about, how about four million Syrians uh, looking for a home? Right. You know, and Hong Kong has just been absolutely silent on that issue. I mean, you know, I guess I guess they're taking their lead from Beijing, but, you know, nobody's ever well, even suggested, why not take some refugees That's some creative here? thinking. Serious. Yeah, they come in with lots of young people, which is what we need. Of course, education would be an issue. The problem is, yeah. not only education, yeah, but not all, uh, you know, education, welfare. Language. Language, employment, all this kind of stuff. Uh, but I wonder, you know, you gotta, you gotta wonder if there's, a, if there's something that could be done. I mean, Canada just opened up a processing refugee processing center yep. in Jordan. Yeah. And they're gonna take twenty five thousand people, supposedly. There's a slight delay on that. Yeah, uh, it's you know, but still, saving problems, but much still. more, much more aggressive. Yes, they've taken over a huge facility than the states. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things uh, they said that they found was surprising about these families when they started looking at them, uh, you know, the Canadian officials went in and they were like, okay, family of fours, line up over here. Holy smokes, it's families of eight and nine, you know, and that they didn't expect. Uh, so I don't know how we would deal with something like that in Hong Kong, but I mean, Hong Kong just, you know, doesn't seem to have this capacity to yeah. bring in immigrants from anywhere but China. You know, like the Vietnamese boat people, we stuck them in camps. And where's where's my big Vietnamese community well, in Hong Kong? With the current ship executive. We threw them all out. With the current ship executive. Ain't gonna happen. Yeah. And speaking of China and Canada, yeah, two issues related to them. Okay. First, uh, there will be a subcommittee on related matters <laughs> to railways. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's another thing to look out for on Let's Go today. Uh, Basically. Switching tracks, yeah. so to speak. Uh, Let's Go on Railways, and we'll get an update on from the MTR on how all the different projects are doing. Yeah, and that's related to China. And one project, but yeah, we're going to get updates on yeah. all of them. But yeah, you're right. The high-speed rail yeah. is the big one to Big China. issue. And uh, about Canada, today mm -hmm. is... Well, this weekend uh, will be the Remembrance Day ceremony for the Canadians who fought and died in Hong Kong. The beginning of World War II, long before Canadians were fighting and dying in Europe, they were fighting and dying and imprisoned by the Japanese in Hong Kong. This is where it started for the Canadians, and uh, there's a cemetery full of dead Canadians up on the hill, uh, and there'll be a big ceremony up there with the Canadian community come out, as they do on the first Sunday of every December. So, so there's a little bit of Hong Kong history for you. Uh, They're not the only people in the cemetery up yeah, there. Yeah, remember stay for Canadians. Yeah. All right, uh, we have to learn from the painful past, and we also look Sometimes. forward to the future. That's right. Uh, having said that, if you like the show this week, we have deliberately changed our format. Remember to leave your comments in the uh, session below. Right down there. Uh, Facebook or YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe, share with your friends, search for Solution on Wheels, and also... Yeah, like us on Facebook. Uh, Follow us on Twitter at Harbor Times and uh, look for us any. Just just do the search Harbor Times with the U. Yeah, with uh, that we conclude this week. We hope you have a nice weekend. Good work, Andrew. Good solutions, Vincent. Cheers. <laughs>